come deep inside the belly of Tim Horton's field. Underneath the stands, the Forge Audio Network presents The Captain's Log with Kyle Becker and Mitch Houlihan. Presented by Bench Brewing. All right, Captain's Log, Season 1, Episode 7. We got 7? 7. Crushing it. Uh, Back here with your captain, Kyle Becker, number 10 in your program. How we doing? And a uh, special guest. We'll get right into it on the pod today. Friend of the pod. Friend She's of the pod. She's Forge FC's hardest working digital host. Yeah. Host of Max Access. <laughs> host of Behind the Beard. Forge's weekly pod, Forge Daily. <laughs> That's, yeah. Did I come up with that? And new Dairy Farmers of Ontario spokesman. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just smooth, smoothest intro of all time, right there. There it is. Yeah, come on. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you even know that song? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me to name it. That's- <laughs> I, mean, I, like I know the song. Return of the Man, Lord Finesse. Yeah. Return Honestly. of the Man. No, that's not it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for having me back, guys. Of course. I'm so excited. You're going to be back many times. You just finished uh, upstairs or I did. around the corner with BTB. Bobby. BTB. Yeah. Bob A. How'd it go? <laughs> Bob O. It was good. Uh, brought him a carton of milk today. Yeah, was this episode. a special episode? 20th episode. That's I awesome. feel like that's a well. It's not a huge milestone, but for for me, I was like, okay. I feel like I got to do something funny here. So what'd you do? So yeah, I just brought. I mean, I went to the store early in the morning. I was gonna, I was gonna get some Nespresso pods, but then I thought, you know, based on our conversation about having a glass of milk with Bobby, it would be funnier if I <laughs> just just brought milk. Yeah. And I think he liked it. Did he even like remember the milk thing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It was a big thing. It was that weird. It was that (laughs) Well, I think it's the amount of times that we've referenced it after the fact that it's really just ingrained in our memory now. Yeah. There's been a couple funny moments. We actually did a little top three BTB highlights at the end, and he named off multiple instances. So... Like to say I'm pretty. Yeah, I feel like people always think he's real serious, but old Bobski likes to have a laugh. Yeah, 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 it was good. Yeah, Yeah, it's good. He's surprising. Um, I heard, hold on, you told, <laughs> yeah. hold on, yeah, yeah, this is how it's going to go, <laughs> Here we this go. is how it's going to go today, <laughs> because of what happened between you and I, <laughs> All right. so, um, Forge Weekly, listen, some of us are still in school, okay, in the summer it was Forge Daily, I can't just change the name of it, because it's not every single day, oh, it was daily, it was, oh, week daily, nice, <laughs> yeah, see, is it weekly or daily? It's forged sometimes right now, just because, you know. I love that. Poli sci calls. Keep them guessing. If yeah. you will. Yeah. So, uh, forge Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah. BTB. And Wednesday. a special thanks today for missing your poli sci. Of course. You know what? I tried. What's more important? I actually. Education? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Get out of here. I, I honestly, like, I came in today. Thinking, I gotta tell, gotta tell Kyle, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna hold my own. I'm not gonna do it. He goes, Mac, we good to go? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> so I love that. Didn't yeah. take much convincing. I just, you know, you're right. This is more important. I'd rather be here anyways. Ah, not really. Who needs to but know about the Constitution? It. Not me. I mean, you were just. What were you telling us about? Section Charter. Section 33. Yeah, I'd argue that's relatively one of the most important things in poli sci. Mitch, can you? Uh, you know, attest to that. Yeah, or? it's one of the most important things in poli sci. <laughs> yeah, can you give uh, an important clause? Give this guy the Cole's notes of section thirty three. No, we're not. We're not getting into no? that right now. Yeah, what are you actually? Uh, what are, What are some other things going on though in poli sci? <laughs> it was been all I remember is the night of the long knives. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Ah, that was a classic Canadian uh, mix up. Yeah. It's just yeah, a mess yeah, around. It was a classic mix up. That's the thing with the, with our constitution. <laughs> I have not heard of that. The curriculum must have changed. I mean, history doesn't change. Okay, well. It I was mean, yeah, it was a big thing. Fair, Rene Levesque. Nice. Hockey Got, player. Yeah. Right. 
got stabbed in the back by a bunch of <laughs> carpet baggers. <laughs> That's a quote. That's actually all I remember. That's much Holy of what I remember crap. from poli sci. Wow. Yeah. I, I'm also in communication, so it's like a, I get my comms intake as well. Nice. I was a communications major. So Were you? Oh, you are I pretty much know all of it. Look so I am literally just a combination of both of your knowledge. <laughs> you know what I mean? That checks out. It yeah. makes sense that we're yeah. doing this. Then. Or we are both a small part of your knowledge. Right, right. Yeah. yeah Kyle, no, knows how, yeah. Kyle knows that I am just the epitome of excellence. So. You should have seen the hump. Well, you guys will see it when it comes out. but. I think this will come out after Friday. Mackenzie, not humble. Was that... <laughs> 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 That's what they say about her. Mackenzie? Oh, I didn't even say your name. That's probably why you didn't come in, because the cue wasn't the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> There's the music started playing. I was like, all right, I'm going. I'm yeah. going. Um, uh, yeah, that is what they say about me, actually. Yeah. I put it on my LinkedIn, not humble. Hashtag. Oh, Hashtag. you got a good uh, LinkedIn profile pic. I think you should, <laughs> we should, you should do the same one. What is it? A big, like, smile with a microphone. Yeah. Business yeah, guy? Was super that, organic. Was that, was it? Super yeah, I always wonder for like, like when you go, does every like company just do like photo day, and you get like <laughs> most most days. Is that how you get those super cool like business shots where everyone looks like? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Most teams I've worked with have done a little media media nice. day. Can't wait to get my first after school or after sports <laughs> picture day. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't know. know. I just, like you're just in media stuff too. Yeah, I mean, like it's I'm around cameras all the time, so I think. The first conversation I had here was with Corey, actually, because him and I go way back. So here we go. I asked him just, you know, can, I, can you uh, take a quick photo of me for the LinkedIn? <laughs> nice. He Are said, we going to yeah. let that slide? And then I went. You guys don't go far back. We go <laughs> relatively far back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Definitely, yeah. at least. It's a solid, solid relationship. Yeah. 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 So anyways, um, thank you. Of course. I think, I don't know, we should connect on LinkedIn. Do we? Are we connected? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So. But um, you viewed my profile and you didn't toss me the connection. What a weirdo. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> what a that's crazy. weirdo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. No, you got to go private, obviously. Um, <laughs> we got a new, uh, new guy behind the cam today, too, Nick. Woo! Shout out, Nick. Shout out, Nick. Um, Great presence. Yeah, what happened in the chat? With, we, between we, uh, yeah, Max yeah. and I? Was that, what was that on? Max Access. Right, right. So this is the series that we're doing with players one-on-one, -on -one, not really talking anything too serious. What it's supposed to be is me asking the questions, you know, trying to get some personality out of the, the people. But now that Bex yeah. is a podcast host, just he... A consummate professional. Just turned the tables right on. Yeah. Flipped it. Flipped Started it. Started asking Flipped a couple cues. No, honestly, it was good. I actually like it. It's good. Uh, good chat. How many? We we've spoke about this before, but like, how awful are like the classic <laughs> athlete answers? And I'm just as guilty of it as everyone else. But it's like, you ask a question, and it's like, mm. I will say, we tried hard. Everything was cool. Everyone played together. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's awful. Crash the net. <laughs> yeah. Pucks down low. And Pucks just, and just get her and just cycle. <laughs> But it's, uh, no, it's cool. I like I feel it. Like, I feel like uh, the conversations have gotten progressively better, even even from the last time that we talked, because, like, I can just, like, doing doing these interviews that are more chill, like, get-to-know-you kind of style interviews, make the more formal ones better, because mm. I think there is a level of comfortability that you build after just having those, like, no-pressure conversations. So. I was actually thinking about that exact thing today too i was listening to a couple of them how many of max access have you done Ooh, not many like maybe five or six um also kyle had a name for it that he thinks is better than max access. listen talk to dave dave no, i'm sorry but then i said out loud i've had loud a couple complaints no listen to it, yeah, listen to it. Listen to it. No, you, you gotta say it i, I can't forget it's yeah it's a it's a dumpster fire we're just gonna no it's about uh it. dumpster fire no <laughs> that, that's not what we're calling your podcast i'm saying in my it was one of those ones where i was like this name's way better and then oh, i said it sure. Mitch and, and nick was like what the heck is that? okay <laughs> and maxter class <laughs> trash 
I hate myself that I said it. Uh, okay. It Napster is what class. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is so clever. Um, oh. No, but but no, in, uh, I listened to the one with um, uh, KJ? Young KJ. What? Young oh, KJ. Yeah. yeah. Tavernier. Tavernier. Yeah. And um, this is what I was thinking. I think that was a Forge Daily, no? But anyways, it doesn't matter. Sorry. Yeah, it was one of them. It was either... <laughs> Sorry, all these different pods four, that I host. I'm hey, making it confusing for you guys. Hardest work in digital host. <laughs> Three podcasts and counting. And main guests on ours. Soon to take Recurring over guests, this one. Yeah. Um, but, the, but, like, the young guys, I don't think they've, like, seen the, like, like boring Interview. interviews. So KJ they're just, did a they're good more, job, Yeah, right? like, he was great. Yeah. And he was just more like himself. Like, he was chill. This is just like, uh, yeah, I don't think the younger crew like knows the, the boring style. I and won't lie. I've good. also, yeah, I found that too. Like, that's why a lot of the times I talk to the younger guys just because they, I don't know, like, KJ was just talking to me as if like it was mm. off the record almost. Like, I was yeah, trying to ask yeah. him questions that weren't too much. Like, we talked about what he wore on game day, mm. like, just like stuff like that, you know? And then. Yeah, he gave he you just some good answers. Answered as if you would answer a question, not like how should I sports. Mm. Yeah, answer definitely not this, very yeah. calculated. At, at, yeah. yeah, no, that's good. good. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't know. Hopefully, that's a good thing. It's just, it's just like the the young guys, like they, uh, I don't know. It's like the YouTube YouTube the, the streamers versus like you know Mark yeah. Wahlberg. <laughs> That's, that's a perfect that's analogy. That's a comparison that everyone that wanted. Is, yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, it's like what, the streamers was, versus yeah. the Mark Wahlbergs of the world. The yeah, Wahlbergs. Although they grew up, you know, with, yeah, yeah. it's much more casual. Mm-hmm. And it's I think it's just like that Hockey Mark Night in Canada Wahlberg. interview when they come off in between periods and they just have like the towel around their head and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. Yeah, just bang down low. It's yeah. good. Tried real hard. Yeah, All I've lines fire. Funny, so. Just like keep it moving. It was like, sweet, man. Yeah. But you're like, that was, that was awesome. Yeah. Can't wait to do that. <laughs> Out of like seven million of those interviews, has been like one exciting one for sure. And then that guy probably got destroyed for having too much personality. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, it's a fine line. You're definitely uh, walking a fine line. So the chat that you and Kyle had. Yes. I figured this would be a good opportunity to flip it back. Yeah. Um, almost like uh, ask Kyle anything. Maybe wow. do the interview that you were hoping to do that wow. he clearly ruined. Yes. Um, and flip then the I'll script. be here too to also. Uh, validate, okay, you know, or yeah. confirm. Make sure yeah. he's not throwing out any lies or or embellishing anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you can think about that. We can go on on to it. Let's to know. Let's get or, into yeah, it. Let's talk about it. cheating. Let's talk about how much Kyle <laughs> cheated in high school. Well, yeah, I mean, grade ten math. I actually got caught for trying to like kick open my binder in a test. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Olson, she got me. What a jabroni. You tried to just do one of those? Yeah. And... I literally, I was like, it was one of those ones where I either forgot about the test yeah. or it was the classic night before where I was like, what am I going to learn yeah. the whole, all these chapters in one night? I'll just go in there. Yeah. And give yeah. the old call to try. Miss Olson? Yeah, Mrs. Olson. And then. <laughs> that was the start of your grade 10 math. Oh, journey. saga. Yeah. The saga. Oh, yeah. Third time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> there's some there's some that's why it's a saga extenuating yeah there's some extenuating extenuating mm, circumstances mm, that okay. led to it being three times but yeah i finished grade 10 math in uh adult learning center which was the funniest thing of all which, time these guys would have to it was like what was it white oaks yeah yeah they would you always drove you to they would always pick me, yeah they always pick me up and drop me off from, <laughs> from night class me <laughs> just hanging out with my good buds <laughs> that was a a gritty experience. How old How old were you when you ended up? I was still it? in high 29? school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually have class tonight. I so what was it? I did it. It was it's a, so I I failed fully failed. The, First two times. I think it was Key Hall. He was just a stickler of a okay. of a math teacher. So we failed. Not the you're, not the you're finest. Name dropping your high school teachers. I think I've I've heard like three or four of them now. Yeah. Um, so I failed that classic just to, just to put shame on my family's name. Mm-hmm. And then I was going to take summer school and I actually, we can blame Bobby for this one, but there was a, like one of the OG Sigma camps, which actually led to me and in, inevitably going, leaving school and going to Holland. Oh. There was one of those and I was in summer school to try and fix it. And then it was like, what are you, what are you going to go to summer school? You're going to go to this camp. So then the second I stopped going to the summer school, I automatically failed. 
So okay. it's the second time done. Right, Bobby. So then what we, the heck? yeah. So then we went. We took our took my talents to the to the ALC, and uh, that's where I finally learned how to do algebra. <laughs> and it got you into Boston College. Yep, nailed it. Am I missing something here? No, no. that's the truth. Yeah. Actually. Well, yeah. you need grade 10 math to get into college. <laughs> that's <laughs> so, what they say? Yeah. Do you remember anything from grade 10 My, uh, math? Yeah, the old, uh, the old counselors were, were sticklers about that one, so yeah. Yeah. couldn't just stop about, doing yeah, it. About graduating. <laughs> yeah. Sticklers about it's crazy, sticklers it's crazy about the, how much they care about that. Sticklers about the old graduation. I will say, I'm not going to lie, I'll out myself here on this one. Grade 10 math, also not my forte. Nope. I've, I, no, no, no. <laughs> Failed three times. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't a saga for me, Ugh. but I do have a vivid memory of attempting to cheat. And I feel like this is harder for me to, because high school for me wasn't, <laughs> wasn't that long ago. Like, this wasn't that long ago. Like, I actually wanted to go back to my high school and be like, hey, listen, like, tell my teacher, like, I'm sorry. Like, I actually haven't <laughs> cheated since then. Um, but I... Uh, <laughs> we used to do this thing where we would have our math midterms and set up our binders on either side of our desk because they would be like side by side, but it was like a wall kind of thing. And I thought, I thought if I move the binder up just enough, I could move my eyes without having to, you know, move the, you know. So I'm trying to complete the square. You Didn't know? you guys have like iPhones at this time? We weren't allowed to, I don't really know. I don't remember ever having a phone. Just in the old honor system. Do you know system. what? This wasn't actually in high school now that I think about it. It was definitely elementary, grade eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What even is grade eight now? I don't know. I thought my life was I on the like line. That's the most, like, innocent Listen, cheating ever. I thought my <laughs> life was on the I line got, when I was I cheating. Got high cheating school. Time. She was just like looking <laughs> like, sideways. Don't invalidate this. Doing the old this. Michael Saren super bad. You're like looking around. <laughs> <laughs> That's but so this good. is the worst part. I did. I moved my eyes, thinking that no one. I thinking that I would like cracked the code. And my grade eight teacher announces to the class, "Just because you move your eyes doesn't mean I can't see you cheating. Like I can see you cheating. Like he didn't say my name, but oh, I was good. like, I was frozen. Said you got publicly shamed. Yeah, I, that's funny. I, I kind of did get publicly shamed in that moment, but I just, uh, yeah, grade eight. I guess it's not that deep, but in the moment, I was like, wow. Yeah. I'm never doing this again. Oh, a hard call out with the eyes forward. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought of that in so long, but... Yeah, yeah it was scary. Eyes nice. forward. <clears throat> yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, maybe the most honest podcast host in the Forge Audio Network. Yeah, I haven't cheated yeah. since looking to the left <laughs> in grade eight. Yeah. Impressive. But the graphing calculator, never put a couple of answers in the back. Yeah, what about inside the calculator? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. I never did it. I wasn't... Try hard over here. Oh, my God. Impressive. Wow. Let's talk about... Um, yeah, math isn't for Kyle's Lord of the Flies presentation. Yeah, <laughs> is... Will this come out after... It, yes. You put yours out? I f yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think Great. so. Great. So we'll get we'll get some back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, this is yeah, perfect. What's that, yeah, what's that called? When what a listener goes like they listen to ours and then they listen or they'll listen to yours and then they'll listen to ours because of it. Mm. I don't know. Upsell, cross cross selling. <laughs> <laughs> what? Anyway, I know what you're talking about. Okay, so no, yeah. I was just cross like, promotion. So like I, I was so, yeah. just. Corey just gave me a thumbs up. The, the nod of approval. Nice. Came Boom. From Corey. Um, if we, uh, communications major, right there. Exactly. I should know this. If we should just say it again or if we should just speak to it as you guys talk Let's about do it. the, uh, maybe the brief Cole's notes. If you haven't watched Max Access, go do it right now. Um, basically, from what I understand, please correct me if I'm wrong. And I would really love to watch this. Wow. I wonder I thought, if I have it on, like, holy on a tape crap. somewhere still. Basically, Kyle gets an assignment. He's supposed to do a quick PowerPoint presentation on Lord of the Flies. It's night before. Classic, you know. What do I do? Definitely not the PowerPoint. Didn't have Let, any Bristol board lying oh, around either. <laughs> Who does? <laughs> so, hands gets are tied. Action figures. Yep. Recreate Lord of the Flies. Mm. Uh, and just did the voiceover. Voiceover. And it was. So was it like a a masterpiece? It was, <laughs> and I can attest to it. I was in the class. It That's was crazy. Yeah, 
It was something. <laughs> it was just a lot of noises, to be honest. There was just, How long was this reenactment? I, like, well, I think he was just, like, trying to get to the time. <laughs> there was so much filler. There was, like... Uh, <laughs> And they were just right, all, right, right. they were just all Lee's wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> just like just old Hulk Hogan yeah. and like the Ultimate Warrior and like Virgil and stuff. And it was literally just me going like, ah, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, oh, I got the conch now. No, <laughs> it's just like literally screaming into so, the camera. So you did the voiceover, which means beforehand you were just like moving the figures. Around. There was there was no like editing. Any done. content part. Was from Katie. Like oh, his yeah, sister, oh, my like, sister was his involved. His sister in. made okay. sure there was like a, a bit of like this relates to the yeah. book, or else it just would have been Kyle moving guys around. <laughs> just literally just having a wrestling wow. Like yeah. you were wow. just playing with wrestling guys, and that was your English project. <laughs> but but it was so funny. The people loved it, and the so pe- did Miss Pat. You Pattis- can't argue Patterson? with the reaction. Yeah, I think it, I think you got like a I've, seventy-five, but she was like announcing. I actually was fucking honest about the. She was, yeah. she was like, um, I remember she was like saying the marks like right away, like she'd give you the mark what? like right then. I forgot about that. So it was like he got the seventy-five. Obviously, everyone's laughing, but then like all the people who tried hard were just like, "This so is bad. a joke." <laughs> I would have been pissed if I was in your class. Yes, I think there was a lot of people when we were rolling in the old TV. Like, there's no way. <laughs> Like, the doubt in the room was, it was palpable. But then what about the old picture of Joe Lawnmark? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, I think that's why I got the 75, because she was like, look at this guy. Yeah, just slipped in a oh, yeah, man. classic. So What's crazy was, is you called the TV pregnant. I had to th- recall that. Yeah, you, you and your smart projectors. Right. They don't, they kids these days don't know, don't know about got, the pregnant bet, TVs. What are the, what are the things, you don't know about, like, the old school projectors where you have to put, like, the thing on it? You know? What do you, you mean? You probably never had those. You haven't even explained what it is. Oh, the, um... Like, when they would do the projections, they'd have, like, the clear piece of paper, and they have, like, a erase marker on it. I remember that. Yeah. Wait, wait, did they... Those did were they... the worst, oh, man. No, don't look it up. We, we got to think of it. Uh, it's a projector. It, was it... Like, I've no, said the name that many... It's a specific name. The thing... There's a specific name. Yeah, overhead, overhead projector. projector. So, like, the teacher would be sitting in the middle of the class. Writing? It's dark, so you're obviously going to fall asleep. And then, like, he's just doing long division on this friggin' <laughs> And then it projects thing. it. And then it yes, just puts yes. it on no, I, I And remember. it's always, you can never see it. It's no. always blurry. It's trash. It takes yeah, him so long to set it up. <laughs> just yeah. messing with yeah. it. I should, yeah. Oh, sorry, I got my dials wrong. <laughs> This guy doesn't know what he's doing. He breaks it every time. It made, like the fan is the loudest thing in the world. Oh, the fan. You just had gym class. That's all you're thinking about. You don't want to be in there. No. Just sweating still. You just had got dodgeball coming up. Wow. Crazy. Uh, yeah. So That's grade crazy. 10 math never stood a chance. Gym class? Bef- not at the end of the day. It was a bit yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's tough. Real tough. Yeah. Wow. Just threw your arm out and dodged ball. And you <laughs> can't hold a piece of paper. Can't yeah, hold a, a pencil after. It's just... Yeah, I gotta get Tommy John after this. Oh, honestly, that oh, might be man. the worst pain I've ever felt. <laughs> what? When Just you throw like a dodgeball for so much. long, and then your arm feels like it's gonna fall oh, off. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. These MLB pitchers, they don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Your your Lord of the Flies project was essentially an overhead projector. Except it was because also the camera didn't move at all. It was there was just a wrestling ring and a bunch of things. They a were like, wrestling ring. This is the. Okay, island. sorry, I didn't realize there was a wrestling ring. Oh yeah, I, I couldn't remember that. that. I remember it was all of the wrestlers. I don't know what the wrestling ring had so, to do. Was the wrestling ring like the island? All I, I think it was the island, and all I remember was the symbolism. The first half of the presentation. It was a was royal everyone, rumble. You were just moving everyone into the island. <laughs> <laughs> that was the plane. That was the yeah, plane crash. And then, and then, <laughs> the fillers are crazy. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then the the conclusion was just taking everyone out of the island. <laughs> There's like, no like, then, yeah, like, this guy got power bombed off died. it. Yeah. He's, he goes off to the left. Oh, classic. We should recreate that. Wow. Wow, that would be I mean, awesome. I could, I could do it. Mm-hmm. Great project, though, for sure. 10 out yeah. of 10. Um, also from that class, yeah. we had a, a running thing where it was like, I mean, it's not even that good, but we'd have a chocolate milk bet. So, th- as I said, this teacher was, like, real mean. Yeah, but you and cracked would, her, no? Yeah, we cracked her, and this is how yeah. we cracked her. So, we'd sit at the back of the class, and it was the first period of the day. So, one of us was always late every single day, 
and she would just lose her mind. And then eventually when it like, we were just relentless with it, she was just like, all right, whatever. So we would just walk in. So one of us would walk in like 25 minutes late and then it, we'd do like, we'd do like rock, paper, scissors or something to see who won, who had to do the chocolate milk. Mm-hmm. And then we would have a toss from our chair with the empty cartons into the garbage can. That was like across the thing. Wow, class was... And, yeah, and then whoever lost had to go buy some more. <laughs> and she would lose her It was also nice because we had like all the French immersion kids in there. We thought they were so much smarter than everyone. Oh, <laughs> just French immersion kids. They, they probably didn't like So it was just much. between you two, this chocolate milk thing? Yeah, no, we looped a couple people. I roped a couple, a couple other people. I don't think, whoever yeah. was sitting near us. Whoever I think we got felt like up. having a laugh that day. We got day. split up pretty early in that class, though. I think I had to sit at the front for a while. Yeah. Oh, you're that guy. There's nothing, nothing worse than having to sit at the front of the class by yourself. <laughs> I wouldn't You're just like turning around trying to get a couple giggles in. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing because I know exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly it's the like kind everyone's of just giggling kid. in the corner and you're just sitting there like sitting beside this try hard. Yeah, yeah. it was me. Yeah. You were sitting beside me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just like, shut up. I can't hear the teacher. <laughs> But then, like, you kind of start to crack the smart kid at the... Do you know what I mean? And then I just wear you down. Yeah. What was this teacher's name again? Patterson? Patterson? Yeah. Patterson Patterson. reminds me a little bit of uh, me and Bobby, you know? You and Patterson, me and Bobby. Like, everyone thinks he's... I also wear Bobby down. I I would argue that I... He lost to kill me a lot. True. So maybe at the end of practice, he's just so tired of, like, holding it together. He comes up behind the beard, and I'm just like, all right. Yeah. Seems fair. It's got a lot of characters to deal with. Last week, when uh, before the podcast, we came in, and uh, our friend was here with us. We made some uh, coffee in the office. <laughs> Bobby comes in for two seconds. The coffee's just leaking all over his <laughs> shoes. He didn't, he didn't put the old filter back in. Oh, like, no. He just dumped the coffee in and just went. And, we're, and he's an engineer, by the way. Oh. And so we're doing all this stuff. And we're like hanging out. He's like, why is this taking so long? And then Mitch walks in. He's like, yeah, why is all of the coffee on the ground? And then Bobby walks in. He's like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Mark's like, relax. relax. <laughs> like, just met him. So, yeah, come on. Come on. To Bobby, he said that? Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Anything else from that, from that combo? Any more remember. callbacks? That's all right. I I even... just, uh, that was a good enough uh, I... teaser, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could probably get into the good stuff. Why we brought old Mac on here. The good stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about it. So um, when was was it a week or two weeks ago? You guys oh, had the... wait, I got one more thing that okay. would have been perfect when we were talking about Bobby. <laughs> oh, okay, go. That I just heard on one of the uh one of your episodes mm-hmm. with him behind the beard. He he uh grew up in street gangs. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? I don't know, that's what I heard. Oh. Street university, is that what you're talking about? I heard, Corey knows. I heard he, street I heard he grew up in street gangs. <laughs> Bobby was in a that's acapella what you street, got. <laughs> that's street what gang. you got from behind the beard, that episode. Street gangs. Yeah. No, no. So basically, we were talking about the best advice that he's received. And his dad told him that there's two universities that you have to graduate from. I think one was actual school and the other one was street university. Like being able to do things on your own, go out, travel the world, you know, just being just being a social person, like just yeah. being, you know, the street smarts, the book smarts, yeah. just like being street smart. Yeah. He was never in any gangs. No, he went to university and he joined a street gang. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right, yeah, we did. Nice. We brought you on, of course, to talk about. I'm glad we. I'm glad we circled back for that one. <laughs> yeah, Thank I'm glad you. we cleared that. Up. <laughs> I'm to, so uh, glad to talk about the uh, the Spark Summit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that you were a part of, that you, uh, I don't know. It was, yeah, tell us about it was it. awesome. Yeah. I will say it was kind of hard because I was hosting the game, so it, I was able to stay for the first panel, and then I kind of was back and forth for the second one. Um, but, yeah, we had a ton of professionals, um, professional women in the industry come and talk about their experience, and uh, really good turnout. It was the second annual one, and just so motivating and so inspiring i literally left and i think arguably i had one of the better games from my like perspective as a host i just Mm. left feeling so motivated just ready to kick ass like that's how (laughs) that's what happened you know what i mean that's the effect that these women have when they like talk about their experiences and how realistic and doable it is for for people like me for example who are just like trying to make their way into the industry but it was just such a yeah such a cool event and i i'm i was happy to be yeah, that's awesome. Second one, that's great. Who is uh, who is your favorite speaker? 
I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'm biased, but ooh, ooh, see now I'm con- I'm going to say Lindsay, Lindsay Hamilton mm-hmm. because um at first she's she's from McMaster, TSN? so TSN host. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah, yeah she went the to the old alma mater. And I yeah, I was so excited to hear her talk. I I I wish I got my reaction on camera when I actually found out that she was coming mm-hmm. to the Spark Summit. I nearly shed a tear because when I had a first when I first applied to be the in-game host at Mac, that was like one of the first things that I tried to do to weasel my way into the industry. And the only way I knew about it was because of this post on Instagram that I don't know, McMaster Sports posted or something. And it was like these are the positions that we have upcoming in the athletic department. Feel free to apply. And Lindsay Hamilton comments and says something like, if you want to get into sports broadcasting, take advantage of these positions here. And I was like, whatever you say, Lindsay Hamilton, whatever you say. So I applied, got the job. I actually told her that um, I had read that comment. And that's it was just kind of funny because, like, yeah. I don't know if she knew – how much like people like me like pay attention to those comments, you know? Yeah. So it's That's really awesome. cool so to you hear from you got her. to meet her and like have a chance to Yeah, to I got talk. a chance That's to great. talk to her after the actual panels. It was nice because they all came upstairs to club level and there was a networking mm-hmm. opportunity, a fireside chat, I think is what they called it. But um <laughs> this guy loves a fireside chat. <laughs> it's it That's, was uh, we're having sweet. a fireside chat right, right now. Uh, That's what it feels like. Did you get any any words of wisdom that you're willing to share? Yeah. Well, cause yeah, I mean you're also in that position now too, right? For the yeah. next next gen, even though I you think, are the next gen. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Like even in in talking to her, I asked her about a few things afterwards. And I did it really fast because I was like had one eye on the game clock to go and do the halftime interview. But um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's kind of cool being in this position now. Like you said, like in like I'm I have to know that I'm supposed to be in spaces like this because I think a lot of the times. Um, imposter syndrome comes into play especially being in the same room as these women who've accomplished so much and opening the event in a small way to me was still such a huge deal knowing that I'm like in the same room like a part of the event like opening it up um so I talked to her a little bit about imposter syndrome and she she talked about the importance of like having that confidence and knowing that your path won't always be the same as you know everyone else's and I think that was also a big point of emphasis too is knowing that like the sports industry is not not nearly as structured as some as something like traditional like medicine for example you do the residency you do the whatever um so that was that was cool them you know highlighting that and talking about going out of your way to find opportunities and creating opportunities because that was huge for someone like Lindsay um, because I saw what she did at Mac. Like, half the things she got involved in weren't a thing before she got there. Like, she just went out of her way to pitch these ideas and, and make them happen. And I think that's, that's the biggest thing for me, and I think the biggest thing I would tell anyone is taking advantage of a space like university where you can really be creative because, like, at the end of the day, like, they want, they want content. They want their students to be involved in what they, what they make. So, yeah, I mean... Uh, she was just such a like oh I should say the rest of the panelists were too but big inspiration for me especially yeah. coming from McMaster because like yeah just trying to follow in following her footsteps that's pretty great. sweet yeah. Yeah, yeah that's great and I'm, like sorry that was a little bit of a tangent there I don't no, know if was, I stayed that was, on that one, that was one awesome. point and it's cool I mean it sounds like she's she's kind of similar to you too like front of the class type yeah yeah she's a (laughs) go-getter yeah yeah and i mean for me i think imposter syndrome is if you don't have imposter syndrome it's weirder yeah but then it's also you don't want it to like you know cripple you you need to be able to like work through it but i don't know i think you have for sure we talked Mm -hmm. about that last time like you, like how hard it is like you just came in you had to like forge relationships mm-hmm. with forge <laughs> <laughs> and actually make it happen yeah this is all new too yeah max yeah. access yeah maxter what? class come on <laughs> yeah it's sticking wasn't a thing. like how many podcasts are we gonna get from you i don't know just probably more bump at it this up rate. to 10 yeah man and it's interesting like you, you bring up the imposter syndrome and it's it's funny like we're all part of the same forge umbrella right now you're just on a different side but mm-hmm. like young guys coming in i've been there myself mm-hmm. at the start of my career like huge thing you mm-hmm. struggle with imposter mm-hmm. syndrome and as mitch says like i think it is more normal 
than probably people think like to have it to have than that. not to have it. Yeah. But it is just like how do you have that balancing act of like getting out of your comfort zone and how important that is to like yes, learning new stuff. And exactly. Like even like you like you talk about like you're obviously young, you're still in school, but like going out of your way and making sure you have a chat with her. It's yeah. like, that's something I would never do. Like, I played on a team with drug, but I don't think I spoke with him for, like, the mm-hmm. first month because mm-hmm. I was like, no, this guy doesn't know who I am. Yeah. It was like, yeah, yeah you got to pass him the ball on the field. Yeah. And then, like, you kind of get out of that comfort zone and you chat, and it was just, like, it was unbelievable. And then, like, the wealth of knowledge that he had and the things that he was able to impart on me was was massive and how much it helped me. And so then to see it on this side, it's, it's crazy. Like, there's just so many things that you can, like, correlate to. Yeah, and I think what I've realized the most, too, is – like, in my confidence to go up to these people and wanting to have a conversation with them, like, introducing, like, going out of my way to introduce myself has just gotten me so far. And I think one of the biggest things that I've noticed or a common theme around the successful people in the industry that I've talked to is that they always want to see other people winning. Like, I think a common misconception is that, like, the sports industry or sport media more specifically is super competitive, which it is, but I wouldn't say that it's necessarily, like, everyone for themselves kind of thing. And I think that a lot of people, well, at least that's what I kind of had the idea of what it was in talking to other students, like, oh, it's so competitive, like, it's really hard to get a job, as a, which mm. it is. Um, but at the same time, like, that's why I think I've gotten more comfortable in approaching these people because nine times out of ten, they're like, hey, here's what I did. This might help you. So, What about any discussions on, I, I would think that the sports broadcasting and sports media industry in general like you said, it's tough to get into. What about, like, the fact that it is just a very male-dominated space, too? Mm-hmm. What about it? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, how I... I don't know if it's really... Um, Your in, experience. Yeah, yeah. Is I that think, something that's, like, apparent all the time? Is that something you think you've had to deal with? Like, what... Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying now. I, I think... At first, like, coming from McMaster, I it didn't really affect me. Like, I didn't right. really realize how much it, it didn't really impact me that much until until I came here. Obviously, I'm working for a, a male team, and I'm sitting in a room right now full of guys. So I didn't really realize, at the time at least, how much, it, like, just... And, like, like tradi- traditionally about, male-dominated. Yeah, and obviously, yeah. like, it's now... It's changing. Yeah. People talk about it all the time, too, but I don't really remember it ever being apparent to me until, yeah. you know, coming into, like, a more professional environment, and there's still lots of women around, but I think it's just learning that, like, there is so much that we can bring to this space and so much, and how much it can be better when, like, both men and women are in the are in the room. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Definitely. I think it was just really cool being able to, dedicate a space purely for women to talk about their experiences and how they kind of deal with, you know, sitting in a room full of guys. Like, having a dedicated space for that was was really cool. Yeah, yeah. that's sweet. What yeah. game was that, Jordan? Uh, the Cavalry one, I think. Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. That's pretty neat that they did it, like, during a game. Yeah, it was cool. But, I mean, and also fun, hard because yeah, I was, like, that... running around, like, <laughs> yeah. holy shit. I wasn't locked in that game, I will say. I was thinking about Lindsay Hamilton on the, <laughs> the athlete interview, you know? No, that's great, though. But it's cool that we're, like, putting that on. Now we're in the second year, and obviously it's just going to keep growing and getting better. Oh and, like, hopefully we yeah. see more teams around the league doing following suit, putting 100%. their own spin on it. But like, we also have, like, shout out the old vice president here, Nicole Demir. Mm-hmm. She's a successful woman in this, and as we've talked about, a male-dominated business. But she's crushing it, and she brings in some new ideas, and, She's doing a lot for the club, which is fantastic. So yeah, that's got to be a nice she's little first, right? Um, yeah, she. I introduced her, and then she kind yeah. of gave a brief rundown, and yeah, she was she was great. Was she with the Thai Cats primarily before this, or was she somewhere else? I honestly don't yeah, know. Yeah, Thai Cats. Guys behind the cameras giving us the nod. Yeah, so. Thank you. Thanks for that. Boom. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I just want to continue to be a part of that event because it was like I said, I left the room feeling like I could take on the world after like there's a there's actually a recording of it that's on youtube now i think I'm, i'll go by mm-hmm. back and watch it three or four times because mm-hmm. that's good yeah i mean yeah. it's i think when you're in those events too it's hard to really kind of take in oh my everything. gosh yeah there's just so, like such a wealth of knowledge that's yeah. going down and you're just like, how, like do I mean, I... how many times you come out of a movie and you're like i don't even remember yeah. what i just watched yeah. and let alone like something like this where people are going on their lived experience and and how they've had success in their career so mm-hmm. that's cool it's great that it's on youtube for people to go back and watch 
Yeah, and also, like, really cool that someone like Patrice Whiffen, for example, who works within the Hamilton Sports Group, came and talked about that because she's one of those people that, like, I have the accessibility to talk to at, like, m- most days of the week. So, yeah, just seeing seeing women from, like, all different spaces come into one like you know what I mean? Like we also had Megan Jacob. Like it was crazy. All these names. I could. I'm fangirling now. But anyways, it's fine. That's great. It's fine. Look at the impact it's having, huh? Come yeah. on. I was Sparks bouncing off the walls. Seriously. That's and good. Yeah, yeah. If I would have seen something like that in high school, I would have been like, wow. How do I? So it's just cool. Yeah, I wonder what the next step is. Like, how do we blow it up, getting mm-hmm. more people? Because that's mm-hmm. just like the importance of those things. It's just getting as many eyes and ears yeah. on it as possible Everyone had to the same reaction too. inspire Everyone. that next generation. Did you have anything to do with it behind the scenes or the planning of it or anything? A little bit. Not necessarily the planning, but I talked to um, a couple of the panelists for Forge Daily, like Patrice, for example. Mm-hmm. We had a conversation. I talked to Shannon Connolly a lot, who she kind of sparked <laughs> – the idea of it all last uh, last year, so she oh, <laughs> she, she kind of gave us the rundown, gave us like what we could expect. Like I just talked to people behind the scenes for uh, for the podcast for the viewers. Is Shannon like the driving force behind the spark? Shannon arguably is one of the main driving forces. That's awesome. Um, she yeah, she's she's the coolest. Like she really really put her heart and soul into yeah. it and just to see it come to life in a way that she had envisioned and of course the rest of the community team as well but yeah, I've shout out give, Shannon with the I've old community give a lot team of, a lot of credit to, to yeah. Shannon for that one because she also went out of her way to you know make sure I was involved and, and same with Courtney and they wanted me to have those conversations with some of the panelists yeah. beforehand just to nice. give them another space to talk about it well, they got to come through the podcast gauntlet before. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Get yeah. Shannon on uh, so Captain's Log. Who should we, yeah, for sure. Yeah, who, who do we should, reach out? Who would, who oh, should, obviously you're going to say Lindsay Hamilton. Oh, no, 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 like for for this? No, no, no. <laughs> well, that, Wait, what's the question? Hold on. Yeah, who do we reach out to? That's who you're saying. You want to bring someone on, no? No, I was going to say who should, who's, a, who's a dream guest next year. Who should we get for some uh, speakers next year for a Spark Summit? Ooh. You got any dream dream guests? Wow, that's a good question. I have a couple dream guests. I gotta say, Kate Burness probably. Um, she's just been someone that I've watched growing up. Kayla Gray also, just so badass. <laughs> I could go on and on, um, but I think Kate and Lindsay also work pretty closely together. But mm-hmm. yeah, Kate's a staple. Yeah, she's always a staple. Crush, always Canadian crushing on staple. TSN. You know, mm. involved in the CFL, too, so that would be cool from a Ticats perspective. I feel like those are pretty gettable for you. Oh, geez. I think you could probably make that happen yourself. Wow. Yeah, let me just... Let me just Start email. Oh, yeah, you Tell and Lindsay are tight now, so it's just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Send, send the whole crew. <laughs> oh, got the old boys storming <laughs> yeah. in here. We're getting kicked out. This is what happens when you fill in West Storage, okay? People, yeah. people You're call hanging out under the stadium. Someone's going to walk You don't know it. what's going to yeah. go down. That's all good. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually seeing Lindsay tomorrow. Ooh. So I'll ask her maybe if we can. Uh, Surely you got to ask for a, a little sit down with Kate. What, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Why not? With her first. Wait, did you do, did you, do you have Lindsay on? Any of yours? No. 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 I don't but know you how familiar she is with the CPL, but I could ask. I'll ask her tomorrow. Yeah. I'll get her on the record tomorrow. Just ask her to start putting some highlights on TSN. Of, oh, yeah. Yeah, Why yeah. Not? For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Lizzie, do you, do you mind just, uh... <laughs> just... Yeah, just sneak them in the that deck. That is a big question is we it? have. Yeah. That is a big question we have. For sure. For sure. For sure. And I'm, that's also... Like, why not? Yeah. If, CPL, if the CPL blows up, why is not it? just give a couple that, little shout-outs? I know. I know. I was telling Kyle that I uh, spoke to Debbie and Peter, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah she got to meet the old Oh, pet. this is good. Yeah, Carnage. yeah. And I don't know if you know, but Debbie seems to like my uh, my podcast a little potentially more than the captain's log. So one hundred percent. Same answer. That's literally yeah, what Kyle no said. Way. Yeah, yeah, that's her. Yeah. She Zero said, surprise. Yeah, I think maybe she's just had enough of you guys like off camera that she doesn't need to listen. That on. also checks out. Yeah, definitely. What she about? said sometimes we're sitting in the kitchen and they just like speak random words to each other and they nod and I'm like what the <laughs> is going on I'm like okay that's pretty much what it was like on the pod so <laughs> that's why it's such a riveting listen it's just a bunch of inside jokes yeah. that nobody gets <laughs> yeah um, only what about, laughing what about Pete 
Uh, I didn't talk to him so much one on one. He had a couple questions for the commish, but. Oh yeah, so I was was that wild? <laughs> so I was walking off the field at Pacific, and Nico was like, "Your dad grilled the commish." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I so, was like, I was listen, so, I'm like shattered from the had, game. Like, God he, damn it! He had some valuable questions, but I did think, they make sense? Yeah, yeah, they okay. made sense. Right, so that's good. I so knew check one. We're good. Yeah, yeah. I knew that they were their questions because they submitted them online and you had to like submit your name and then your question. He went full name. So Sin. Debbie <laughs> and yeah, Debbie and Peter Becker saw and I was like, all right, I'm putting this at the top of the list because I had written all of them down so that I could ask him. Mm. And then we were gonna open it up right. afterwards. Um but yeah, I asked I asked a question and I don't know. If I had elaborated it on it as much as he would have liked, so <laughs> you were riffing it up. Yeah, so he uh, tossed up the hand and let him know. What, what was it, what was the question? Do you remember? I think it was um, just a generally U twenty one intimidating <laughs> question for no reason. International <laughs> players, why some are on, why there are more on some teams than others. Mm. You, he got a round of applause from the audience. I will say, he the is people a man res- of the people. He res- the people respect the question. They were good questions. They were totally yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but no, he, I, I, actually, no doubt. All, all kidding aside, I'm sure they were good. Yeah, yeah, they were good. But I still do think that they probably were intimidated. I, I no listen. Reason. I'm just glad I wasn't <laughs> answering them. That's all. I was. I would have preferred to moderate than I would have to answer it. So. Like, did it did it seem anything like this? So, if Pete ever had to go into uh, our our high school for any reason regarding Kyle, you know, say he got in trouble for something. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't happen very often, but say that this would be Pete's move. He'd sit, <laughs> he'd sit, go into the boardroom and sit right beside the teacher in question, and just give him this the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, what, tell me what Kyle did. Up yeah. close and personal, <laughs> just, just, just staring it right into his yeah. soul. It's like I don't know, did he do it? Yeah, did it he? Was, uh, I never did anything. Yeah, definitely I that. An angel. I would, yeah, I guess I would say it was kind of the energy. He wasn't like that close with. He's a bit of a close talker, but. Real. Is he? Yeah, he's a close talker. Oh. We should get Eddie in here to, to give an impersonation to to of that? it. Yeah, Eddie. Eddie likes it. It's and good. Eddie Pete Pod would be. Am something. I the first returning guest? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Oh, let's go. Okay. There you go. Thanks, guys. I mm-hmm. thought Eddie had definitely had come back since the first app. No, nah, we tried to have him back the other week. Then uh, apparently oh, video. Apparently video is more important <laughs> than captain's log. So <laughs> unreal. Crazy. Crazy where priorities are at these days. Yeah. So how's your uh, podcasting experience been, though? Do you feel like you've improved from first episode based on now? Um, <laughs> I mean, it's funny how it's just like uh, you'll do, like, one little thing and, like, you know, say a sentence properly mm-hmm. and, and be like, nice. Uh, I'm getting the hang of this yeah, thing. Yeah, you're getting the hang of it. And then, like, For 10 sure. seconds later, you're just like, this sucks. I hate it. It. <laughs> And I'll never be good at it. It's def- That's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how the mindset can shift so quick, though. Yeah. You, you make it, you, you word something nicely, you're on top of the world, quick stutter, you're like, it's over. A lot of imposter syndrome. Exactly. Yeah. We, uh, and this is, so we're actually going to jam uh, Shannon up for this one. I don't know if you guys have seen it or if you edited it. We had to do an arthritis PSA the other day. Oh. And she picked me, which oh. that seems... <laughs> What are, you, what are you trying to say? Just, like, <laughs> just old, pick the oldest guy in the room, do the arthritis PSA. <laughs> also, just like the saddest thing of all time. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Arthritis emotional. stinks. I'm That's not trying it. to like discredit no, no. it, but it was just like 15. That was, it was like the number was just so crazy. <laughs> it was like, but me and Alex did it. And reading a sheet of paper beside a piece of, uh, like a camera just awful yeah like yeah. you're just like oh look at this all right you read it you read it all over quick and you're like i'm gonna read it one time i'm gonna get it and i'm gonna nail it so you had to just say it into the camera kind of thing yeah I did not first try i guess no chance wow yeah. and you like every time you're like you think you're gonna do it and then you get it and it's weird how like you're reading someone else's <gasps> words and for some reason like if you were gonna say it, it it's differently it so then different. you just screw it up yeah no totally fair it's weird how the old the old brain works sometimes. Alex, reading <laughs> reading <crazy>. is tough. <laughs> Can we start the story now? When are they just gonna start asking us to workshop some commercial ideas for Listen, all? Of I that? think we should probably just get into. I was a couple like, how do you feel about uh, using little figurines to do the old arthritis <laughs> commercial? I feel like we could get bench brewing <laughs> a nice oh a, a nice wrestling. Yeah, yeah, commercial. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Have you heard any of uh, Mitch's bench brewing? 
No. Commercial ideas? Only the lot. No, no, no. Oh, I you don't have, listen just... to the pod? <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, weird. I've I thought listened. we were all on the same team no, here. No, no, no. I was listening to the one yesterday, actually. I will say I was listening to the one yesterday. That's convenient. But any, yeah, it was. Anyways, oh, um, yeah. I haven't heard the ideas. I only heard the bench brewery and then Kyle was like why are you saying it like that <laughs> yeah. I don't know Say if we ever got through that is it brewing or brewery <laughs> brewery brewery it's a tough word to brewery? say brewery what's the idea what's the ideas what are the ideas um well I don't know I was uh, but I I thought of this because like you being the old guy and the arthritis does actually <laughs> seem like a clever thing to do and yeah. then they shouldn't just had you reading like stats off a sheet yeah, we could have done, done a real should thing. Should have just freestyled, yeah, like, improv. could like, literally just, like, t- film me after a game hobbling around. Like, yeah. Like, just yeah. Billy the Limpet. <laughs> I don't know. I think it would have to be more clever than that, because that's not arthritis. That's just being sore. <laughs> it could be some arthritis. Got a bung hip. Got the old dancer's hip, buddy. Juvenile arthritis. <laughs> juvenile? Is that oh a thing? Oh, my gosh. Well, now, you're out, now you're out of juvenile. Um, yeah, not adult a geriatric. Onset, diabetes. <laughs> Got the old adult onset. Hey, serious disease, buddy. Yeah. No, uh, no. Our bench, our bench idea was um, about uh, bench seats in a car. Three in the front. We used to in, we used nice. to ride around. Our friend had an old Buick, and we mm-hmm. used to ride three in the, three front. In the front. Yeah. Yeah. So it was. I don't know. It was around uh, drinking and driving. <laughs> 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 or something. We're still oh, workshopping. Yeah, we're, so, yeah, we're still workshopping that. Yeah. But, nice, uh, nice. Yeah. You got any thoughts? <laughs> On that particular idea? Whatever. I don't know if I would. I don't know how far. I think it still needs some workshopping. I don't know how yeah, far I'd for sure. That I way, did but... end up going to Kenny Upo though. Yeah. Getting the pirates I needed. Man, and, the people uh... love <laughs> that bit. I heard about. I haven't heard the end of that one. It's not, not even a bit. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just everyday life. I bought a shirt. <laughs> yeah, this guy actually has a Kenny Upel shirt now. Yeah. Unbelievable. He stopped in the other day, picked up a couple parts, just turned out it over. in the yard after the wedding. Yeah. Me and my wife out in the yard just getting the parts we need. And, uh, but <laughs> just also a hot shirt. Date. That's shirt, marriage life, the baby. Shirts, the shirts Is are like. marriage? The shirts. Yeah. <laughs> going to Kenny Upel's. <laughs> hey, uh, that's what it's all about. The shirts are also, uh, I think it was like 15 bucks, but it's, it's, uh, with like the boys and girls breakfast club type thing. So it's, uh, it gives meals. Buy a few. A week of meals. Each thing, a week of meals. Really? Come on. You pull shirt. Yeah. That's huh. awesome. Um, and you I, get a free bumper. <laughs> yeah. Nice. What, how does it work, guy? Do you just like walk around and All just right. like sift through the $5 stuff? $5 admission fee? You have to pay to get in like it's Wonderland? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. I thought you just pay for the part. Well, yeah, you gotta, five dollar. You just gotta fee? pay to take the ride. Well, we can't just have a bunch of tire kickers. <laughs> <laughs> Not just anyone. Not, yeah. Not well, just you anyone. You think there's gonna be a group of people who are just like That's strutting crazy. around Kenny Oops just for a, a <laughs> hang? No, because you gotta sign a waiver before you go. You can't just be digging around cars like just all willy nilly. Like they gotta do it properly. Yeah. So a waiver for what? Can I just tell you how it works? <laughs> yeah. Five dollar. Trying to figure it out to, to go in the yard. Yeah. Quick waiver. Then you pick your parts, come out, and pay for them. But what's the waiver? I don't know, like in case a car falls on you or something? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a dangerous place. So they don't even, because you got to go in there and like, are all the parts just like, or you got to rip them off and like figure it all out? Yeah, yeah. You just gotta go in there. there. You just take it out of the car (laughs) that you need. So you really gotta know what you're going there for. Oh, okay. Well, that makes more sense. We gotta sign a waiver. Yeah, yeah, you're literally like digging the parts out of a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you're just picking them up off the shelf. I feel like we need to do a show at Kenny Upel. That would be so funny. That's what I think. The bench. There's a lot of bench seats in the old uh, Kenny Kenny lot for sure. Can we go get a bench seat for this? That seems like a good idea. Nailed it. Ken yeah. Upel, we'll see you this week, buddy. Yeah. Also, we wave have the admission fee, though. Come on. What? He's got to wave admission the admission fee, fee though. I think he'd for wave the, it. For Kenny? The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening to this, Kenny, come on. But there's a, but there's you a bunch will of them get too. an episode of the Captain's Log if you wave the fee. I think that'd be unreal. Let's just go sift for some parts. Yeah, it's fun. All you right. Should. And I also, <laughs> oh boy. But, uh, I think it's all like everyone just gets gets rinsed by like you know your car. Do you have a car? I do. So next time you, can you drive? need a part, they, we're, this is a new <laughs> segment we're starting. Are we gonna let that slide? That's Cap- crazy. Captain's You're like ten years old. What? 
I just said you can drive. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't get my license for a long time, so it's like, it's fine. Chirping myself. Yeah. This guy had to drive me everywhere. He probably took you longer to get grade 10 math than it did to get Honestly, math. Honestly? Um, oh, yeah, you're I don't a know what, license guy, too. Which one was it? I So I went in, I did the G1, failed. So embarrassed, I was like, screw this, I'm out. And then I didn't go back for like G1 stuff, because like years. you're talking about it with all your friends, like everyone's getting their G1 at the same time. So. Well, no, it was just another classic, oh, you got a test? Yep, got the book, totally going to study, never studied. And then it was like the night before the thing, my mom made the appointment. I was like, what, am I going to read this tonight? <laughs> I, I've seen cars all the time, I know what a stop sign is. Yep, 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 yep. There's just so many. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly not. That's the thing about tests. You just need to be confident. <laughs> I went in there like, I'm going to nail this. Confidence is key. <laughs> Tell you what, hard to cheat on a G1 driving test. Yeah. Everyone was just fucking giving it one of yeah. those. Yeah, yeah. People are like, come in on. A lot buddy. of eyes forward totally. out of the crowd. For sure. For yeah. sure. Um, um, anyways, what were you saying about having a... No, I was saying we have a... Uh, I think we set up the email already. If you need a car part, you want a second opinion, we'll go and get your parts out of Kenny Upal for you. <laughs> Captain's oh, Auto. Really? Yeah. Sweet. What? It's, a, it's a new program we're doing. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I like it. Okay, yeah. I'll let you know. So if anyone needs stuff, so far, we'll go but... do it. I do think it's a it's a not well enough known thing. Yeah. You get a quote for a thing, this is probably like ten bucks can be can you pull. Oh, I see what you're saying. For a part yeah. or I mean, like a cars, cars are you know? ridiculous. So you gotta guy. pay half like the fee to get in. You gotta pay more for the fee than you do All for right, the car. Sorry, fifteen bucks. Yeah. Hey, how bad do you need a window regulator? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never know when you'll need a backup window regulator until you're pulling up to a tailgate on Labor Day, and your window goes sideways. Yeah. Where she goes, we we dealt with that one. Yeah. All right. Um, Is that all we got? Just a couple. Wow, well, I'm sure we could sit here for a while longer, but. A couple housekeeping things at the end. Yep. Okay. This prod- podcast was brought to you by Bench Brewing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's we go. actually forgot to do that. I Let's go. That. Yeah, come on. Three now. in the so front. Focus on, on the that intro. intro that I ruined. <laughs> I it was a good intro. Yeah, I know. It just wasn't very well planned because it wasn't planned, but. Could you tell? Uh, yeah. <sighs> we'll get him next time. It's all right. Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Big announcement wow. coming out for the old Grey Cup. On the pod I'm... next week. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, can we ask her, actually? Why not? She'll that probably just say no, crazy. but who cares? Maybe she'll even, I bet Sick. she won't even respond. <laughs> You're going to do the Friday concert for yeah. the Grey Cup? That is, First, that's it. That's pretty gotta, cool. That is huge. You on max access. If you don't have there the access, like a... what do you have? Nothing. <laughs> that was good. Right. <laughs> That's gonna be the slow. That's how I'm gonna open up the episodes. Yeah, that's that. Uh, that would be nice. What is that? Welcome that's happening on the Friday. Access. There's gonna be another happen. Uh, another concert in the concert series on the Saturday mm-hmm. night hasn't been announced is there yet. Two more actually. Well, was there one on the Thursday? Sorry, yeah, I at, think the, a at the Player Awards. Do you know who that is? No, not yet. Keeping that one. Keeping that one close to the chest. But huh? I mean, if Carrie's the first announcement, I feel like we've got some good people planned. I know it's gonna stink if they go with like Avril Lavigne after that. Oh come on, <laughs> that'd be <laughs> so good. Skater boy? <laughs> he was a skater boy. What was your email in high school? Skate forever one. No way. <laughs> That's cool. The old MSN right there? <laughs> asking, asking skate companies for free stickers. <laughs> skate forever, bro. <laughs> Do a kickflip. Right, look at my email. Yeah, real skate did, you, did you ever get did you ever get any? I don't think so. Oh, oh man. Shocking. Maybe a couple. Do you like Carrie Underwood? I, I do, yeah. I feel like I only know, like, the, the main songs, though. Jesus Takes the Wheel? Uh, yeah, and the... Uh, Doug my yeah, King. banger. What's that one called? Bef- uh, Before He Cheats? Yeah. 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 Big Ten. Callback. Yeah. Cheats. Talking cheats. Before He Cheats. Different Talk. kind of cheats, but... Yeah. Talking high, high school, school math cheating. Yeah. Unreal. Right? Right. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, this is why our conversation. This is are like actually, this is what I'm time. saying. That was a perfect <laughs> example. Yeah, I don't know how tough. you guys got there so quick. Like I didn't. Anyways, actually, guys... one last. No, I'm not gonna do that. We're past it. <laughs> what? You gotta do Move it, it off. Yeah. You have to. No, no. It was actually just another compliment. There was a question oh. that I asked, or that you asked Bobby, because. I don't know. You're, it's just very like casual. There's you were like asking him about the Pacific game. You're like, 
Obviously, this is a big one coming up. Mm-hmm. We didn't even talk about that at all, but yeah, we'll get into it <laughs> next hour. Another time. <laughs> In Another hour time. three. You know, <laughs> yeah. we'll Stay tuned. Um, uh, no, nah, this is stupid. Let's just move on. I don't even get the compliment. Oh, yeah. You at least give me the compliment. <laughs> oh, you're a really good interviewer is the compliment. There was, a, there was like, a, a question that was just kind of like, ah, you know what I mean. And the like Pacific. Bob, like, instead of just, like, you know, saying it like, it was about, like, game prep. Like, does it change? Like, oh, for, and yeah, then you're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. like, obviously it changes, but, like, ah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yes, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I like that a lot. Okay, well, good. I appreciate you saying that because in the moment I was like, Mac, what are you doing? What did you just say? It was something along the lines of, obviously, this game means a lot, but how does that change your preparation, or does it at all? And then I was like, well, obviously it does, and then he just kind of started talking. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just kind of trying to make, I guess, yeah, I'm yeah, trying to make it organic. Thank you. No, it was good. Yeah, I like, yeah, you just called it out because it sounded weird. Yeah, exactly. And then I almost edited it out, but I was like, oh, I might as well just delete it so that people know what's going through my head. Nice. People like you, for example. <laughs> yeah. I left that one in for you, much. Nice, thanks. Um, <gasps> did you play soccer? I did. <laughs> talked about this. Your soccer one. lingo is good. We talked about what you talked about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, apparently. In, yeah. Apparently, she Mas- did. Master class. Yeah, and master class. <laughs> yeah. We're no, just gonna got keep the, saying you it. And you're good, gonna change yeah. the name. You got yeah. You soccer got the lingo? Good lingo. You got the good lingo. I feel yeah, because like she asked. There's so it, that's yeah. what's. It's so easy to tell someone who's never, like, watched or played soccer yeah. when they're talking about it. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. It's nice that you got that for yeah. sure. Like, just even saying, like, brilliant. Oh, Such the word brilliant, word brilliant. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? What else? There's a couple words that I won't lie. wasn't in the vocab before my forge time. But I played soccer. And luckily, I had enough knowledge going into it that I had a baseline understanding of what was going on. Something like brilliant, like definitely wasn't cranking that one out before. Yeah. Yeah. Four fought four audio network. Nothing, nothing's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> or, I, yeah. Also, at this point, it's pretty cool that you're probably like one of the most knowledgeable Forge fans. Yeah. Out there. What's you got crazy the most is access. You got the you know. The inside I'm invested scoop. now. You watch every game. You're on the sidelines, screaming at the refs. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Do you ever like yell on the sidelines? Yeah, and then I go. <laughs> just play with all the guys yeah, behind yeah. you sorry there's no one behind me there's none <laughs> but um yeah no it's it's funny and I'm just so invested now and I feel like at the beginning obviously I would watch your games to make sure I was up speed with what was going on but now I just watch other games like because yeah. I want to know you know and I'll be watching them in my living room my friends are like dude why you're off the clock what are you doing I'm like no I actually care like I really want to know what's going on the forgers the yeah, it's crazy. It's That's crazy. Perfect, though. That's almost like a streamline into our, our next week's guest. We're having yeah. on RJ, the head of the old battalion. No way. Yeah. And it's That's brutal because so we've fun. done this now seven seven episodes, and we've failed to just shout out the battalion or the jukebox boys. And yeah. they're just, they've been well, stable since the beginning. Yes. But, He'll uh, be a great person to have. Yeah, Unreal. And like quick little shout out. He mm-hmm. took over for Alan, who did Unreal work for the first couple of years. But uh, yeah, he was never a soccer fan before his first game. I think at uh, I think a friend just had tickets or something. And he it came, sticks like your first and experience. And he just loved it. And yeah. like that's what this is all about. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. That's so, what Bobby and I yeah, talked. I think about. that'll be a a nice little chat next week. He's doing some awesome stuff for yeah. for the battalion and the club, and that's gonna be great. Cool. Mm-hmm. So all guys. Well, we'll be right back after this. No, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thanks for having me again, yeah. guys. It's Thanks for always stopping a by pleasure. for a chat. Always a pleasure. Rather here than constitutional politics. Yeah, who needs it? This was The Captain's Log with Kyle Becker and Mitch Houlihan, presented by Bench Brewing. The guys will drop another episode sometime oh, whenever they get to it. In the meantime, we would love and appreciate for you to like, follow, subscribe, click on the little bell, do all the things in all the places you get entertained, and you'll find more of this type of content. And that also means we get to spend more time together on the Forge Audio Network.